How's it going? New World Sephir here, and we are back today with another video. This time we're just going to be touching up on some final topics that I feel everyone should just be aware of before going into this new patch. We know it's coming very quickly here, so I just wanted to talk about gearing up with the new patch. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you a boss kill on the new client, which is going to show you what kind of items you're going to be expected to be getting and what kind of expertise bumps and all that good stuff, so make sure to stay tuned for that. That. So we're going to talk a little bit about gearing in the new patch, and I think that this new patch is going to be great for new players, and especially people that maybe are behind a little bit or feel behind in some way, because there's going to be a ton of opportunities for you to increase your gear score. We know that the expertise system, the trade skill aptitude system, and even the gypsum system is coming into the game here really soon, and if you need an explanation on those topics, I will link in the description down below a video that will cover them all in depth. But at this point, I'm going to assume that you maybe know something about it. So maybe watch those videos first and then continue the rest of this video after if you're unaware of what's coming in the patch. So with this, you can see on my screen here, this timeless shard type deal. This is going to be another system coming in as well. Basically, monsters are going to be dropping shard recipes that will allow you to guarantee one stat and one perk. And this is going to be why it's important to get into these dungeons, not only for gear's sake, but just for the ability to have multiple avenues to create gear, right? So gear score is going to be coming primarily in this order, which is going to be number one from dungeons, because all dungeon bosses are now going to be dropping a guaranteed expertise upgrade. So that's every single boss in the dungeon. There's three in Genesis and two in Lazarus, so it's automatic upgrades that you're always going to get, which is very nice. Uh, in addition to that, they tend to drop a lot of timeless shards and some good other items that you could even potentially get at 600 gear score right off the bat if you're lucky. Uh, so that can be really nice. So as you improve your watermarks, you'll be able to climb that expertise system up or gear score system up and kind of get on the avenue to getting better gear, right? So you're going to be catching up very quickly as a new player doing these dungeons. So it's going to be very important. Once again, I know I preach this a lot. Get stone cutting up. You need stone cutting. You need to create keys for dungeons because it's the best way to increase your gear score. After that, the next best way to increase your gear score is going to be coming from those gypsum dailies. There are eight dailies that you could complete roughly every 18 hours, which will allow you to get gypsum ore and get a guaranteed upgrade for an item classification of your choice. Uh, so each one can be upgraded every 18 hours, so you can pick amulet or bow or life staff. Whatever you are, you can choose it, right? And that's the important card coming in here, is that everyone's going to start accelerating their gear score. So we're going to start seeing more players at 600 watermarks on everything. And we're going to see more players generating high-level loot in these dungeons. And then being able to sell that on the market, or whether that be through the Timeless Shard system, or just a random drop that they find. Or maybe they created it on their own with the Trade Skill Aptitude, guaranteed 600 pieces. There's going to be a lot of variety for players to be increasing their gear score really fast. So just wanted to do a quick heads up make sure your stone cuttings max make sure you're saving your orbs getting your orbs created on cooldown for lazarus and garden because it's gonna be something very quite nice as you can see on the screen here we are approaching the first boss of the garden of genesis dungeon and we're just gonna go ahead and kill him so that we can see the type of loot that's dropping now because there has been a lot of changes in the dungeon so monsters seem to be dropping a bigger variety of loot than they were before uh, one notable change is jewelry. Monsters or chests seem to now give jewelry pieces, even if they're not high level. Um, for example, I think in this run we found like a 515 um, uncommon earring or something like that, which was weird because we never see those before. So now jewelry is behaving the same as the other gears. Uh, not to mention that these bosses, pretty much from what I've seen, have a guaranteed chance to drop the timeless shards. Which timeless shard you get is completely random in RNG, so good luck with that if you're trying to target a certain thing individually. Uh, but they will kind of give you those options and items. So these timeless shards will also drop from named monsters out in the world, but it's much more likely that you're going to receive a bulk of your timeless shards from doing dungeons, and especially from killing these bosses here. 
Uh, in addition to that, the other monsters within the instance, since they are all 66, will be increasing your watermark. So that's going to be like your third best way, just killing any 66 monster outside of the, uh, you know, the dungeon bosses themselves and then the gypsum system. Uh, you can also visit things like Imperial Palace and Malevolence. These will be nice places to go. And as you can see on my screen here, we did get a life, ta life staff expertise upgrade and we got a timeless shard drop. So you can see like the way the game has changed right like it's now going to tell you when you're getting upgrades when you kill something and these bosses are forced to give you an upgrade so you're going to hit that 600 mark really quickly and and, and it's definitely going to happen really fast uh, not to mention that the elite chests have been changed once again so it looks like they're giving jewelry and some other kind of cool stuff that we noticed uh, I don't know how much of this will stick towards the actual patch launch I'm pretty sure it will uh, but you know it could be different so just keep that in mind um, technically it's a PTR and they could change anything at any point in time but this is probably a decent reflection of how it's gonna be um, as you can see my teammates are linking various shards that they got so it looks like it's just kind of completely random um, you get just some assortment of whatever it is that you get uh, so that's just the that's it pretty much just a quick heads up like make sure you guys get your systems in line get your stone cutting in line make your keys save your keys be ready to do all this stuff because expertise system is going to change everything you're going to gear very fast so you're going to start seeing really good loot and it's going to happen really quick with i would say within two weeks of the patch coming out and as you can see a couple of my teammates got some 509 amulets and like this is unheard of we've never seen these things before so it's quite nice to see all this stuff coming in all right that's going to be it for today i know we probably have the ptr patch either today or tomorrow so hopefully it's the the former one and we get it as quick as possible thanks for watching make sure to subscribe like and hit the bell if you have not already consider joining and becoming a member with the join button and we also have a discord in the description down below where you can join us and chat with us about anything you would like thanks for your time and we will catch you in the next video